Good morning everyone, it is currently the morning, hence why I just said good morning. Today I'm going to be filming a video that I'm really excited about, although I'm actually a little bit nervous because I feel like this video could potentially ruin my face. <laughs> a little bit dramatic, but also very true. So recently I've seen a lot of people film these videos where they review the worst rated something, like they'll review the worst rated restaurant, the worst rated hotel, worst rated nail salon, <laughs> he's just climbed under the duvet <laughs> it's actually a little bit creepy honestly it scared me for a second but then i remembered i have a very cheeky cat let's have a look i mean i hope oh my goodness imagine if it's not the cat no of course it's the cat but what if it's not the cat <laughs> all right you can stay there it's on alex's side so i don't mind <laughs> anyway where were we <laughs> So yeah, I'd seen a lot of these videos and I really wanted to think of an idea that I could do for myself and I came up with the idea of only using Boots worst rated products, beauty products, for 24 hours. So I mean, I know there was a trend last year where people did full face of worst rated makeup, but this is more than just makeup. I've got like all of the beauty products that I'll need for 24 hours and they are all the worst rated items on Boots. So that means the items that get one star and have awful reviews. I've screenshotted the reviews and some of them actually scare me a little bit like they are really bad and just quickly before i start if you notice that today i have a puffy eye it's because i have a puffy eye <laughs> funnily enough i don't know what's happened i just have a puffy eye and it's all gone like dry on it i've got a puffy eye that is dry and i don't know why <gasps> So the first thing I want to do is wash my face and I've got the clean and clear morning energy. <sighs> Wait, I just came up the stairs. <laughs> I need to catch my breath. <laughs> morning energy shine control daily facial scrub. This is what I'm going to be using to wash my face this morning. So yeah, this is one of the worst rated face washes on the Boots website. I'm going to read you guys the reviews now. <laughs> I bought this and had only used it twice before it left my skin dry and peeling. It seems to remove shine but also remove the skin's natural oils, leaving my face peeling all over. Extremely disappointed. <laughs> Yay! It made my skin go purple. I've been using this for weeks and it made my skin go purple. I woke up this morning with 10 or more new spots and I know it's this product. Do not use, it ruins skin. And I'm about to use it. Yay! I, oh, uh, let's see how this goes. Okay, so my skin definitely feels very dry and very tight, like it's got a really tight feeling. I can't wait to, well, I was gonna say I can't wait to moisturize, but it's another worst rated product, so really I'm not looking forward to it, but I feel like I really need to moisturize after using that, so I didn't love it, but it's definitely not that bad, but I guess we'll see throughout the day if my skin starts to peel. So to moisturize my face, I've got this Boots Botanics Radiant Youth Protecting Day Cream. It's got SPF 15 in it. So yeah, this is the worst rate moisturizer on the website it's funny because i used to use boots botanics products when i was younger i never used this in particular so yeah I, but i really love the range like i used to unless they've changed it it irritated my eyes even though i have put it nowhere near my eyes i already have an irritated eye so that is great the scent is very unpleasant reminds me of burnt hair <laughs> yeah let's give this a whiff <laughs> The lid wasn't even screwed on. I took it out of the box and it was like that, whereas it should be screwed like that, but it was open. That doesn't smell like burnt hair. <laughs> It smells nothing like burnt hair, which I'm relieved about. It just kind of smells like a moisturizer, creamy smell. Yeah, I personally don't mind the smell, but I'm going to show you guys a close-up of what I can see because this looks really grim. I don't even think I should put this on my face. It wasn't sealed properly, so I mean, that that's, that's a bit dodgy, isn't it? Dodgy. <laughs> that's a bit dodgy. So there's all of these, like, crusty bits around the edge and there's a little bit in the lid as well. It just doesn't look very nice and mm, 
it's kind of like a bit congealed as well i think it's gone off like honestly i feel like if i don't put it on i'll have people saying oh you're not doing the challenge properly i feel like if i do put it on i'll have people saying you shouldn't have put that on when it was not sealed properly and it seems to have gone off so i can't really win here but i'm gonna go for the sake of my skin i'm not gonna put this on i'm sorry guys i am not gonna use this i just get bad vibes from it <laughs> So before I move on to makeup, I'm gonna paint my nails and weirdly the worst rated nail polish was an Essie one, which is so weird because I've got so many Essie nail polishes that I absolutely love. Like I think their nail polishes are so good, but this particular shade is the worst rated one on the Boots website. It's in the shade Stitch by Stitch and it's this really pastel pink color. I don't remember the last time I had pastel pink nails. It's been many years, but that is what we're gonna do. Let me read you guys the reviews for this. So it says, I thought this would be high quality for the price, but it's awful. The first time you wash your hands or do anything, it starts peeling off. So that is pretty bad. It clearly doesn't last very long at all. So I'm going to put this on and I will let you guys know how long it lasts before it starts to chip or peel off. So my nails are now painted. It applied really nicely and so far it looks pretty good. But as you can see, I am now in my filming background. I'm about to film the makeup section, but I'm going to do it on my main camera just because it's better quality for the makeup bit. So yeah, I'm gonna change it over to my main camera. So the worst rated foundation is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Foundation. I got mine in the shade Ivory. And yeah, let me read you the reviews. Biggest waste of money. Genuinely could have saved myself some money by throwing a bag of glitter on my face. Does nothing for my skin except give me breakouts, which my skin rarely ever has. Just a dire product all round. <laughs> I bought this foundation recently and when I began using it, my skin became irritated. I now have an awful spotty red rash all over my face. I bought the shade Ivory, but when I got home, I noticed this color was anything but. It is way too dark and makes me look like an Oompa Loompa. I mean, at least it might match my tan then. It is really thick and sticky and feels like toothpaste on my face. These reviews are brutal. Like this is clearly terrible. So I'm gonna be testing this out, see if it's bad as they're making out. It smells really weird, like really not pleasant. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna be picking up on camera, but oh my goodness, my face is so glittery. It just doesn't look nice at all. Why would anyone want that? Like, I <laughs> So the worst rated concealer actually makes me so sad because I love this brand so much. I use all of their skincare products. I have loads of their makeup products, but the worst rated concealer is the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Super Blur Eraser. What a waste of money. This does absolutely nothing, need I say more. I love a lot of Soap and Glory products, but they really need to sort this one out. So it looks like this and then, oh wow. What shade did I get? Yeah, I'm just gonna pop this under my eyes and around my nose. <laughs> oh no. I'm afraid they're right. It did absolutely nothing. All it did is take the foundation off in the paper. It took the foundation off in the places that I put it. So I have even less coverage and it's just, it's weird. It's a, yeah. This is the Collection Precision Contouring Stick. I got mine in the shade Light. I bought this a couple of days ago and it's horrible. It doesn't blend and is very patchy. It leaves a line on your face. Have you blended the line out? <laughs> I bought this a few weeks ago and I wouldn't buy it again. When I blended the contour, it wiped off my foundation. Oh great, something else that's gonna wipe my foundation off. So I'm just gonna take a bit of this and I'm gonna pop it in my contour area and around my forehead and see how this goes. I just realized that this is all I have as far as contouring and bronzering, bronze, bronzering. So um, I'm just not gonna match my neck today. Okay, so it wasn't the easiest to blend, but it wasn't that bad. I feel like I've probably tried worse. So for highlighter, I've got the Barry M Liquid Chrome Highlighter Drops. I already had these in my drawer, so I didn't need to buy another one. Really good highlighter, but I can't put up with the stench. They're saying how they have a really strong stomach, but the smell of this highlighter makes them feel like they're gonna be sick. Delightful. And this person said, I bought this not long ago. Had to be one of the worst things I've bought in a very long time. Really dry and clumpy. I mean, it's definitely gone very clumpy. Goes to smell it again. <laughs> 
whoa, I've tried it before, clearly, because it looks like it's been used, but I don't remember. I mean, I guess I didn't give it a good old smell last time, but yeah, that doesn't smell pleasant. I'm just gonna like drop it on. I mean, it's definitely made a decent highlighter. It's blended out quite easily and it's left a bit of a pinky kind of sheen to it. I've got a loose powder. Yay, but not any old loose powder. It's the worst rated one. So things can only go wrong here. <laughs> this is the Natural Collection Translucent Powder. And let me read you guys what people have said. This is just like putting talc on my face. I am very pale anyway. And to have this white sheen on my face makes me look like death. I already don't match my neck, so I'm just gonna get even paler now, aren't I? This stuff here is absolutely terrible. It's like dust. Completely dries out your face and does look like talcum powder. Ah. <laughs> I already know this is gonna be such a messy experience. It is probably gonna go everywhere. But you haven't seen this in a long time. Have you missed it? I bet you've missed these makeup y videos, haven't you? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we are a little bit covered. My lap is absolutely covered, but I shall continue. I'm gonna get a bit of this on my sponge and just pop it under my eyes. Do a little bit of baking. God, I don't remember when I last did that. To be honest, I don't really think it's that bad. I think what they did is put it all over their face, but in reality, it is just a baking powder. So it's only for under your eyes. I think the people that left the reviews put this powder all over their face. I'm now just gonna have to move straight onto blush because when I did this, I couldn't find a bronzer that had bad ratings. So I'm just gonna have to skip bronzer, which makes me very sad because I rely on bronzer to make me match my neck. So. Yeah, <laughs> so for blush, the worst rated one was actually a Benefit blush and I already had this, I've used it before. It's the Benefit Gold Rush blush and I mean, I don't mind it, but I'm gonna read you what everyone else has said. I say everyone else, like two people. I bought the product yesterday and applied it today in great excitement and to my surprise, it does nothing. Tried the same on my hand and no success, practically a waste of money don't buy it. It is a very subtle blush, but I like it because it's really shimmery. Like it adds a nice little bit of shimmer and sheen to my cheeks. Thing is, is right now I could really do with a bit of pigment because my face is all one color basically. So it's kind of annoying for this video, but yeah, I don't mind it. It just adds a tiny little bit of shimmer, which I already have a lot of. My entire face is shimmer. So for eyebrows, I've got the Revlon Colorstay Brow Mousse, which I've never tried before. And apparently I'm not gonna wanna try it. It took a while for the product to actually come out of the tip and when it did, loads came at once. Great, so we're gonna make an absolute mess again. I tried to apply it and the brush was just no good. It's harsh and hard to use, making the color streak in lines across the brows. The mousse, question mark, comes out when you twist the opposite end. An awful lot came out and I had to wipe some of it off. It's gonna be so messy, isn't it? I then applied it to my brows. I was not impressed. It went everywhere. I threw it away. <laughs> okay then. It's like a mascara. Oh, oh, how is that gonna work? It's just so clumpy. I don't know if you guys can see on camera. This would be really good if you just want a really natural eyebrow day and you just wanna put a bit of a tinted brow gel on. I feel like it's worked quite well at just uh, has it worked quite well? <sighs> I'm glad I'm not going anywhere today because I look like sh Next we have mascara. I didn't get any eyeshadow and I'm actually so glad now that I didn't get an eyeshadow because I do not want to put anything on my weird eye today. So this is the Natural Collection Length Mascara. This is awful. It's clumpy and almost like there is way too much mascara in the tube. You pull your brush out and it's covered. Horrible spider eyes that have been super glued. <laughs> The new formula is clumpy and gross. The main reason I'm writing this is that it's irritated my eyes so badly. <laughs> I already have an irritated eye. It leaves my eyes streaming all day and so sore and red, especially in the outer corners. I feel like my eyes are streaming just thinking about this. So as you can imagine, I'm really excited to put this on. <sighs> Let's go. 
I feel like it's doing absolutely nothing. Like it's adding no, wait, what was this one? Shut. This is the length one. And I was just about to say, the one thing it's not doing is adding length. So yeah. Oops, but so far no burning sensations, so that is good. And finally, I'm gonna move on to my lipstick. I've got the 17 Mega Matte Lipstick in the shade Violet Summer. <laughs> it's a bright purple. Was so excited about this as color was so right, but it seems to congeal and streak on my lips. So coverage is very patchy after application. This lipstick does not stay on for 30 minutes, not as publicized for 13 hours. So it doesn't even last for 30 minutes. Okay, well we shall test that. Mm, I don't know, it's almost got like a metallic look to it. It's really weird. It applied okay, I get a little, I don't know. The edges are quite messy, but that's probably just because I suck at putting stuff like that on. It's not as bad as they're saying. We will see how long it actually lasts because apparently it's only gonna last me 30 minutes. And this is my makeup done. I feel like my makeup hasn't looked this bad since my 2016 testing makeup videos. <laughs> If you've seen them, you will know what I'm talking about. There we go, what did we expect? They were the worst rated products. Some of them weren't as bad as people were making out. Some of them I can definitely see where people were coming from. So I'm now just gonna go about my day and I'll check back in this evening when it's time to take my makeup off because obviously I've got some more worst rated products to use. So just to update you guys on the nail polish, I feel like it's lasting okay because normally when I used to do testing makeup videos and I'd be opening all of the packaging and stuff like that, it would destroy my nails, but I feel like it's lasted really well. It hasn't taken any of my nail polish off and I opened a lot of packaging then when I was filming that. So I'm actually really impressed with it. So it is now the evening. It is nearly 7 30 it's still really light outside like you can tell summer is coming it is really light i'm now gonna take my makeup off i'm not actually getting ready for bed yet but i just really want to get this makeup off but anyway my makeup is still looking the same as before the lipstick mm, i'd say it lasted a couple of hours it basically came off when i ate my lunch i'm now gonna take my makeup off i'm not actually getting ready for bed yet but i just really want to get this makeup off so to remove my makeup i'm going to be using the number seven radiant results micellar water nope that's not what it is that's not what it is at all it's a cleanse oil. <laughs> the reviews for this are worrying. I do not want to put this on my face, but I'm going to anyway. So the first one says, I don't usually write reviews, but I feel I have to regarding this product. My eyes are streaming and stinging as I write this and my face is dry. I was a huge fan of the old oil, but this is a very poor replacement. I'm wondering whether it's safe to use after the effect it's had on my eyes. Very disappointed. Well, now I'm wondering whether it's safe to use as well, love. I'm not happy with this cleanser at all. It hurts my eyes so bad and it feels like it's just pulled everything out of my skin. I'm now having to sit with a cold cloth on my face to try and calm it down. Can't wait to try it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. It's an oil, but wow, that is very runny. <laughs> so it says to just rub it into dry skin. I mean, it's very strong smelling. Okay, so I've just massaged it into my skin. I've rubbed it all over my face and on my eyelids. And honestly, this eye, like, it's weird because this is my dodgy eye, but this eye is the one that's leaking and it's like really stingy. So I think it's just, I think it's because it smells so strong. Like as soon as I put it on, I was like, now this one started, it is, it is definitely streaming. I need to rinse this off straight away because I can definitely feel it stinging my eyes. Why is my vision going funny? It's because I'm stinging my eyes. <laughs> Okay, so I've washed it all off now. I just used the face wash from this morning and in case you couldn't tell, I wasn't a huge fan of that oil. It definitely did sting my eyes. In fact, they still feel really stingy. It didn't feel like something you'd want to be putting on your face, but there I was smearing it all over and rubbing it into my eyelids. But it's fine. I've washed it all off and it all feels okay now. So no damage was done. Well, I don't know actually. We'll wait and see what happens in the morning. I might wake up with a rash all over my face, but so far no damage has been done. I am now going to use a face mask because I thought it'd be interesting to try out the worst rated face mask. Let's give that a go. Let's torture my face some more. I'm actually really sad that this is the worst rated face mask because I really like this brand. I like their other masks, but I've never tried this one and apparently it's not that great. So this is the Yester Tomatoes Detoxifying Charcoal Peel-Off Mask. Have I ever even tried a charcoal mask? I don't think I have. 
So first off, the smell is terrible. Having to have that stench in my nose for 20 to 30 minutes is excruciating. <laughs> All right. Second, the applicator makes it near impossible to apply evenly. Lastly, as a peel off mask, I fully expect it to unclog my pores. I feel like glue could pull more out of my skin than this crap does. <laughs> Cannot believe that you sell this garbage for that much. Definitely want my money back. I tried to follow the directions and could not get the product to come out. One more squeeze and the sealed end blew off getting this garbage all over my clothes. <laughs> I can still feel my eye steam by the way. If I'm blinking a lot, it's because I could still feel it. It's on like a piece of rubber. That is so weird, okay. I actually really liked the applicator. I felt like it was really easy to apply. Um, I've only put it in these places because that's what it said to do. So I've just put a bit on my forehead. I think you can probably see where I've put it, can't you? I've got it on. I'm now gonna leave it on for eight to 10 minutes and then I guess we'll see if we can peel it off. I hope it's not one of those painful ones. Oh. I didn't know it at all. <laughs> this hurts a little more. So obviously I now need to try and pull off these extra bits that have been left behind. But yeah, that was really easy to get off. I was not expecting that. I'm glad, I'm glad it didn't hurt. But at the same time, I feel like it didn't feel like it was really doing anything because it was just so easy to pull off. You, you kind of want it to hurt a little bit. Oh, that sounds weird. But you kind of want to feel it because then it feels like it's pulling things out. So I'm not really sure that that did much, but Overall, I don't think it was as bad as the reviews were making out. I got along with it quite well. So for moisturizer, my plan was to use the same one from this morning, but obviously that never went to plan. So I can't really do that. So I guess that's it. These are all of the products that I'm gonna be using. However, I am gonna check back in in the morning just to see if my skin did anything weird overnight, to see if I broke out, to see if I ended up with a purple face. So yeah, I'll see you guys again in the morning just for a little update and then that'll be it. See you in the morning. And as you can see, nothing happened at all. My skin still looks exactly the same as it did yesterday. If anything, it actually probably looks better. <laughs> I ain't complaining though. I'm glad that my skin didn't go funny, but I think it's probably because I only used the products for one day. Yeah, but this video was just for a bit of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and give it a thumbs up if you want me to do more videos like this where I do like 24 hour beauty product challenge things. You know what I mean? Let me know if you want me to do more of them and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye. Thank you.